Think about the Gulf Coast. You think about the refineries here, about 9 million barrels a day capacity total. And some of these refineries have been hit hard. Here in Corpus Christi, we know that three of the five have definitely been shut down. Sitco, Valero, and Flint Hills. Also, two other big ones in the area, the Exxon Refinery in Bayview and Shell in Deer Park. About totaling all of them in, uh, in an aggregate. We're talking about 2 million barrels a day coming offline at least temporarily. You can see as we drove into Corpus Christi, the refineries are almost picturesque. They're part of the landscape here, part of the scenery. But when you have flooding, when you have power outages, certainly the operations there uh, can be compromised. Part of the story is the refineries themselves. The other part is how you move product around. The port of Corpus Christi is also closed, and we're watching very closely the pipeline as well because those will be how we transport storage uh, fuel that's in storage out of here uh, to keep sort of all the wheels moving. The Colonial Pipeline, which is what takes fuel up to the East Coast, is the one that everybody's watching at this point. When you